So it's it's Tisdale South, 42 Tisdale South. Um, there we go. So this is Main Street. You can see basically this is like a 500 meter walk and you have a no frills right there. So a nice big grocery store, fairly nice no frills store there. Uh, the little plaza, you've got a few um, uh, pharmacies here, the Dollarama, haircutting place. They got a little bit of stuff happening right here. Cumberland's a little bit more of a quiet area. And we're right now on Main Street looking west. And that's basically looking to downtown. So if you see that big tall building at the, at the front, uh, it's called First Place. On the other side of that is basically what's considered downtown Hamilton. Okay, so pretty easy walk if you want to head downtown. A uh, really easy walk if you need groceries or pharmaceuticals. And uh, we're just going to walk back up the street here. So you can see it's uh, maybe 100 meters, 150 meters uh, south of Maine is where the house is. We've got a few more people that have joined us. That's good. I'm just heading back to 42 Tisdale Street South, and we will start the tour. So while we're walking, turn my phone around. There we go. Uh, so my name's Randy Dalton. I'm the owner and operator of R&B Properties. I want to thank you for joining us and just remind you again very quickly uh, this virtual tour is being recorded so if you don't want to see yourself on youtube down the road do turn off your video i also ask you to mute your uh, your computer your speakers your microphone your your phone whatever it is that you're using please mute that um, at the end of the tour i'll open it up for questions and uh, you can unmute yourself ask any questions that you've got um, and then mute yourself back again so others can ask. So I am going to turn the camera around again. There we go. We're looking south on Tisdale. Uh, I had shown for those of you who are on the call, just uh, this is looking north on Tisdale. That's Main Street, virtually just out of our, our, our line of sight. But around the corner is a grocery store Pharmacy, pharmacies, uh, Dollarama's there. And we are about a half a kilometer west is opening up into downtown Hamilton. This is 42, turn this to landscape. This is 42 Tisdale. This is uh, three stories. This is a duplex. So we are renting unit number one, which is basically main floor and basement. Second and third floor is unit number two. So just walking down this driveway here. So there is parking available if you do have a car. Parking is extra, uh, but you can have access to the driveway if you need it. And also right in front of us is a garage. Uh, that is extra as well. But if you need a garage for extra storage, put your car in the winter time, you can certainly do that. And you can see here, we've got a nice, nice backyard. Uh, Looks like the grass needs to be cut, but great area to be able to sit, relax, and enjoy. Unit number one, so we enter in from the back. We enter in and we are immediately presented by the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen. You can see nice cabinetry, um, nice countertop. This is a laminate countertop, decent sink. It's a double sink. So you got lots of storage here in this kitchen, tons of storage in terms of your glassware, dishes, all that kind of stuff in your uppers, lots of lowers for canned goods, cereal boxes, all that type of thing. Uh, you've also got a number of uh, drawers for utensils and up here as well. Um, we have a gas range stove, uh, really nice. That's kind of a chef stove, chefs love the gas ranges, they heat up fast and they're very uniform. Uh, 
Edna, can you um, can you mute whoever is not muted, just so that we can get rid of that disruption? Nice big fridge, and just ahead of us here, you can see we've got whether you use this as closet or use it as pantry space, but you've got a nice closet here, uh, lots of storage in that, and that's just at the end of the kitchen. You can see just ahead of me, that's the door into the unit in the backyard. So through here, this is the dining room. So this I am going to estimate is probably about 12 by 13, 12 by 14. You've got two large windows providing tons of natural light. Nice little uh, chandelier over the dining room table. Hot lights pretty much throughout this unit. Um, so th that's really nice feature as well. Going through the pocket door here, and this is the living room. So again, you can see nice big windows, tons of natural light, um, decorative fireplace. It's not functioning. It's just for decoration. If I go here to the to the window wall and look backwards, you can see the big opening, you can see the dining room. So tons of space here in terms of shared living space. These pocket doors, nice feature. So they also work as well. So if you want to section this off, you certainly can. You got pocket doors on both sides. I'm gonna go back into the kitchen. I'm gonna hang a right, and I am gonna go down the stairs. So as I said, this unit is main floor and basement. The main floor has got the kitchen, the living room, the dining room. We go down the stairs into the basement, and we've got two bedrooms and a full bath. I'm gonna show you number one, first off, got your own laundry. You have in-suite laundry. Uh, battery's gonna run out soon, so we're gonna have to speed this up. Washer, dryer, laundry tub. You've got extra storage here as well. And then through that door, there's a small little cold cellar. Back here, you can see we've got another pocket door. And this would be bedroom number one. I'm gonna say this bedroom is probably about eight feet wide and about 12 feet long. So huge space lots of uh, lots of bedroom space in this unit going here just around the corner to the left and this is the second bedroom this would be considered the master bedroom we've got a huge open closet huge space um, probably 10 feet of uh, ability to hang clothes there this room, I'm gonna say, is about 12 by 12, maybe 12 by 13. A little one of the corners kind of cut out, uh, but otherwise, this is a huge room. So definitely fit a queen or king size bed here with nightstands and uh, dressers and all that kind of thing. Going here, so little linen closet, and then straight ahead. So this is the full bath. We've got a four piece bath. You have shower head, shower controls, a tub, of course, a toilet, and sink, vanity, mirror, lighting. Looks like we need a light bulb. Um, so that is it for 1 42 Stevens. I'm going to head back upstairs. If anybody wants to unmute themselves and have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Any questions? Yes, Marcus, there is a shared backyard. I'm gonna switch my camera again. So basically this is the door coming into the unit from the back. Uh, you're walking into the kitchen from this door. I'm just walking outside so you can see beyond the car, you've got a little bit of a backyard there. Right, certainly more than able to put 
uh, table, barbecue, chairs up in that space. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, oh, do you want me to turn it on? <laughs> um, I think the water pressure in this house is, uh, is pretty good. Um, I know there are some areas downtown Hamilton where you've got lead lines coming in and they're corroded and you have very little water pressure, but uh, I don't think you have that here. So turning on the sink, you can get a feel for the water flow, the water pressure, and hopefully I don't get myself soaking wet. So you can see the water is flowing out of the faucet in the tub. And yeah, you probably can't see that, but hopefully you can hear it. Uh, you got pretty good water pressure, Marcus. Any other questions? So utilities are extra. Um, with this unit, we are, because it is a two family, we're splitting the utilities 50-50. Basically main floor basement is, is one unit, second floor, third floor is another unit. They're both comparable in size. They're both two bedrooms, both comparable number of people living in them. So we split the utilities in this house 50-50. We do all of the accounting. What we ask, uh, we, we work on a budget I'm going to say the utility budget is probably 350. Um, I'll have to double check that, but let's assume it's 350. That's the household utility budget. So you would be responsible for 50% of that. So you would be paying rent plus 175 every month. Um, and then we reconcile every three months. So we take a look at all the bills, provide you with a statement. Maybe you owe us a couple of bucks. Maybe we owe you a couple of bucks. We basically reconcile every three months and uh, reset the zero and start again. Any other questions? Yes. So rent would be thirteen ninety five plus one seventy five. Uh, that's one seventy five paid every month along with the rent, and then we reconcile every three months. Uh, this house also includes internet. So the internet is part of the shared utilities. Any other questions? Why we keep growing in numbers, Edna, we're up to 12. High speed unlimited. I believe in this area we have a bell has fiber optic. Uh, we have a property right around the corner on West and internet is being installed uh, on Saturday and it's high speed uh, unlimited internet from Bell. It's a hundred megabit per second speed, hundred megabit per second bandwidth. So pretty good internet services. Any other questions? I guess that's it. So we're gonna end the tour. Um, of course, if you do have any questions later or you want to apply for this unit or for Five Cumberland, please reach out to Edna. Edna's on the call. So I believe uh, this is the end of our tour, Marcus, Mara. Okay, if you have questions, Marcus, you can definitely call me or send me a message, all right? Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. Bye.